so I have just completed my first week and a half living in London. Obviously my plan was to come up here and vlog everything to start off, but it hasn't really been, I don't know, what I, what I imagined. To be honest, it's been a little bit lonely. Like, all I've been doing is going to work, coming back, watching Love Island and going to bed. Um, I don't know many people up here and obviously as you can see I'm literally just in a little like flat at the moment but I'm getting my keys for my house tomorrow which is very exciting um, because I will then be living with people so hopefully they're going to be really nice and I can be friends with them and then I'll be able to go out and do fun things and see London a bit but yeah so far I've been flat out in work you know when you start a new job and you want you want to do everything you possibly can to like show that you're really good and that you deserve the job I've done my first video in work do you know when you've watched something so many times that you're like this is the worst video in the world like that's how I feel about it but hopefully that's just because I've been working on it for like a week and a half straight, so I'm sick of watching it. But hopefully people watching it for the first time. Ah, just boiled the kettle and touched it. It's really hot. Basically, most nights I've, I feel a bit bad because since I've moved up here, I've been very, very distant from everyone, not purposefully. But like it's a it's a big change and it's quite stressful and like you're really really busy and stuff and when I haven't been focusing on work I've been trying to find a house and going on viewings and looking online and stuff and because I work all day on my phone when I come home it's nice to just sort of chill not on my phone so I haven't really been answering many people and like everyone's been so lovely and so supportive and I've literally got the best friends and family in the world but I do feel a bit bad because like people are messaging me saying like how's it going and I'm taking a few days to reply and like I don't want to be rude but like I'm so drained and I don't want to be dry but then I don't have the effort to be like sending videos of me telling them all about my day and stuff because like it's, it is a bit depressing at the moment I literally either in this room or in work like not I, oh i've been to the park a few times on my days off or after work like one day i went over to the park and i literally walked around for about four or five hours like i had blisters on my feet and i just like pulled my airpods in put some music on and i had the best time of my life because it was so nice i'd worked for a few days and then i had the sunday off so i was like okay I'm going to go out now, I'm going to see something, a bit of London, even though I was literally round the corner. I haven't been into like busy London. Well, I am in King's Cross, so that is obviously quite central, but I haven't been out of my area at the moment because I finish work late and on the weekends I've been doing um, a few wins. Yeah, and I'm moving tomorrow, so I won't be able to just go to that park anymore, but I can, I can always hop on a tube and... Um, come to it but it's not the same when it's not like right by your house isn't it and i've made friends with a few dogs that's the main reason i go to the park this is the hardest part about moving to london is how much i miss my little baby boys like honestly so yeah but that's about it really like i think i was feeling a bit down when i got back from work today um like I'm not, I'm not depressed or nothing. Like I literally am loving my life. I am living my best life. I've been a bit lonely tonight because, well, it was George's birthday yesterday. It literally broke my heart that I was not there to celebrate with her because she is literally like my right arm. And all the girls have gone to Manchester for drinks and a weekend away. And I really wish I was there with them. So yeah, I've just made a little cuppa now um i don't know why because i'm blinking boiling i need to make some food <laughs> i'm the worst chef in the world like i actually don't know how to cook 
I was having to ask loads of people yesterday, like how to fry chicken, like how much pasta to put in. Um, I've actually got nothing in my fridge as well. Oh yeah, whoa, or do I just have a pot noodle? No, no, no. Gotta stop eating so bad. That's all I eat is like sandwiches and pot noodles and chicken. That is my diet. Oh, and garlic bread. Oh, I got garlic bread as well. Do you, know how, do you know how sad this is? I was so excited to move to London. I thought it was like, you know, big deal, gonna be like celebrating and stuff. That I brought champagne and Prosecco up with me. Only two bottles. I was gonna bring more, but I was like, oh, you know, I don't know that many people. I've had no one to drink these with. I'm really sorry I haven't been vlogging. Like I should have vlogged when I moved in here like showing you around it's quite cushy in there oh do you want to see what i've done with the uh with the cabinets i was only living here for like two weeks right but i've made it so homey and it's actually really cute look i got my rugby ball my pictures my cards that everyone got me the kitchen is like obviously right by my bed but this was only for two weeks anyway um so i'm literally moving out to that tomorrow's my last day right hang on i need to put food on so here's me trying to be all creative and put up some funky decorations for when Georgia comes up to celebrate her birthday in London. We have not been very good vloggers so far because she's already been here 24 hours. But welcome to London, Georgia. So we're on the way to Tube now, going to London Bridge for some cocktails for Georgia's birthday. Cocktails. <laughs> I'm gonna get steam in tonight and it's gonna be lots of fun and we're back together and she's moving in my house yeah yeah bye hey guys welcome to my channel what one? welcome to my channel right. yeah. anonymous <laughs> to be seen we're not in a good way <laughs> I think so, I'm so drunk the story of last night um we were gonna have a, we went out the night before last and we ended up in this place in Piccadilly which was just full of weirdos. We did enjoy, we salsa danced. Oh my god, that was so funny. I haven't even got a picture of that. We were up on this like um was it like a Not little stage lie. thing. For London you'd think it'd be so busy. Yeah. Like we couldn't get in anywhere. So we like one person suggested this place because it was quite late and they were like, this is the only place you'll get in. So we went there and we were like, okay, this is the reason we've got in because it's rubbish. But it wasn't rubbish, it was just it was a just of weird. It was just really <laughs> It was really bad. Yeah. So and we then, were dancing though. We were in this like international. It was room, good. And like everyone started like recording us because we like oh spin God. and stuff. And, and then, then we yeah, last night we were like eating Chinese. We were like, oh yeah. till night. So go make plan up for tomorrow. pajamas on because obviously we had Tiffany's uh, brunch this morning that I booked for George's birthday. I know. Um so we were I like think oh, we'll be nice and fresh for that. Get up early, we won't drink tonight. So wash your hair yeah. what, uh, and last plan night. The day where we're gonna go today. Yeah, it didn't no, quite we washed our hair this morning in a rush. We were we were only no, like ten only minutes like, late. Yeah, if but that. they weren't even they didn't even care. No, they were very chill. But um so yeah, we ended up doing our makeup and going out at like oh 12 o'clock last night and we actually had a really good night. Literally, it was so fun. I was just down in drinks. Yeah. That oh, boy, he was like, he was like, have you finished? I was like, yeah, another one. <laughs> yeah, there was like good music on. Like we tried to go to a few places mm. and they were closed. It's a yeah. holiday in like London. Bum you think it would be bouncing. <laughs> you... <laughs> Um, you'd think it'd be really busy in London on bank holiday. Most the of the big dead. places were shut. She Honestly, was dead. Because everyone was like, oh, it's just Sunday. I was we like, should yeah, have, but it's bank but holiday. Then, I was going to say, we should have gone on Saturday. We did. We did go on Saturday. And it wasn't even that. No, we spent so much money. Oh but my it's a special weekend. Um, it's a reunion. Yeah, I haven't seen this one in what feels like 10 years. We're back together Sometimes. again. She's going home tomorrow. I know. Um, family with their little goals. Yeah. Oh, everyone's rich here. We're in um, like Chelsea or Knightsbridge or something, and it's we found this really nice little restaurant lunch. Like, it's like a cafe. 
Look at my head. It's like so pretty and we've got like a bakery section for that. We literally have been sitting here for like an hour or so, like not even speaking. Because oh. we're just so hungover. Which was not ideal for Tiffany this morning because we were just like gonna be sick. Awfully sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> Awfully sorry. Look at me. I look best. We're going back to Harrods at three-ish. Oh, champagne. I can't. I don't think I can do it, but we have to. We have to. It's just <laughs> doubting. It's a hard life. Yeah. Look at us. We have to go to Harrods for champagne. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have to go to Harris for champagne. It's just third world problems. Too hard. <laughs> oh, chin chin. Shout out to TikTokers. <laughs> Woke up in the morning. Goodbye, so many things. I'm going to be sick. But you've done your coffee. There we have been here a while. I don't know what you've been doing. Look at the window. Is it? <laughs> so, we just had. <laughs> we just had. A, our champagne and Tiffany's, and now I think and we're gonna, <laughs> I think we're gonna head home. I think we're gonna head to, to the, the tavern. <laughs> I go work in the morning, but you know what? We had brunch this morning and we still made it. Okay, there's a lot of people here. We are going home. So I'm at a little Venice at the moment, which is like a long canal with lots of boats and people paddle boarding and oh it's just all flowers and stuff and it's so so cute it's just such a vibe it would be much more fun if i was with someone because there's loads of really cute like um coffee shops restaurants like seafood restaurants in boats like this and like on the side of the canal and I was going to sit down by myself and I may do in this place that I'm walking to now but I couldn't see anybody sitting by themselves and I felt like I'd look like a bit of a weirdo. Probably not the case, probably me just overthinking but uh, I don't know, I'm not used to doing stuff by myself. Usually the girls are with me so the sun is behind me so it's not very good light then. Oh look how cute this is. I was like, I'm determined to get out today because it's like a million degrees. And I had the luscious weekend ever when Georgia was here, but uh, it took me a while to recover from it because since moving up here, I haven't really drunk and stuff. And then we did go out quite a bit and, and eat a lot. And I'm just not used to that life anymore. The trees are really big on the streets in London. Like you have to squeeze past them. So I'm still looking for a friend. I actually have and <laughs> this is quite sad okay but if you live in London you moved here by yourself not from uni or anything you will understand I do need to make more friends so what I've done is downloaded Bumble Bumble for friends and there's actually loads of really 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 nice girls on that I've been invited out and things but at the moment I've been working and I don't know they're so nice and so kind and I followed them on Instagram and everything and they obviously want to help out because a lot of people are in the same situation. They've moved up to London and um, don't know anyone. So it's nice. It's a really nice thing to know that other people are going through the same thing as you. So if anybody is living in London and I'm trying to hold my phone up, sorry. Um, if anybody is living in London and friendless, don't know Bumble or just message me. And just days like today would sun is really annoying me. Today's like today. It would just be nice to have a friend because things like this is always more fun when you've got company, isn't it? At one point though, I was literally walking up and down the canal because it was just pretty and it like wasn't that long. So I was like, oh, well, I don't want to go and just leave now when I've travelled here and stuff. So I was just walking up and down the canal and someone was like, I've seen you walking up and down a few times. Are you lost? I was like, no, just wandering up and down, just bored. So that was a bit embarrassing. I'm afraid once again I forgot to do an outro to this vlog so here's some pretty videos of Little Venice and maybe inspire you guys to go for a walk there if you're ever in the area. Um, if you have any video suggestions or vlogs you'd like to see I'd really love to hear from you and yeah I suppose I'll see you in my next video.